So I wanted to do another video on social anxiety because someone commented and it kind of reminded me of this and th they were kind of saying that, you know, the term, it's not a nice term to label yourself under. And I, and I do agree on them because at the end of the day, I didn't make up the term social anxiety, right? I don't know who the exact founder was of that term, but that's more obviously a professional psychologist or psychotherapist or a doctor's term um, for someone who is um, you know nervous of people of interacting with people uh, social phobia is another term so I see where you're coming from at the end of the day for me it's whatever works for you some people don't have a problem using that term and I personally don't have a problem with it but yeah like you I don't believe in in, in you know in indefinite labels I believe you can step out side of any label pretty much that's put on you so I'm compassionate um, in, in regards to th this is a very personal thing for people that have struggled with it and it takes one to know one so I know what it's like having struggled with it myself moving on to the next bit what I wanted to talk about because sometimes and I see where people are coming from when I do a video people will be very grateful not all of you right this is constructive criticism and I appreciate people speaking their mind right you're not always going to agree with everything I say I'm not going to agree with everything you say but that's not really my point in these videos to argue or debate it's really to share my concrete life experience with people and to teach people tools that I've used and I know for a fact work in in which case the videos I do on social anxiety are really sharing my genuine honest experience with having the anxiety disorder myself or if you want to if you don't like that term a disorder and anxiety you know not feeling relaxed and comfortable around others all the time or certain social situations or you know feeling introverted or feeling uneasy or feeling shy or feeling in your head or feeling like you don't know what to say or you know worried about offending someone or or embarrassment I felt all these things so some of you will come at me and say, you know, brilliant video, but it's really not easy. And I want to make a point of saying I've never alluded to this being easy. Getting over social anxiety is not just by definition. It's not an easy thing to do, which is why I do a lot of videos on it. You'll know that if you follow this channel, because it's not an easy thing, especially for someone who has it severely, you know, because... The way I had it many years ago to the way I deal with it now, I have it now, is completely different. Like I'm so much more confident because I've faced so many social situations and that's my message to other people. So depending on where you're at and how bad you have it, some people will have it, but they don't have it like really, really bad. Like they can still get out, they can still socialise, where other people have it to the point where it's, it's crippling. And I guess... A lot of my videos that I make on social anxiety are targeted to people who have it really bad because that's originally how I had it to the point where every day is difficult, it's stressful, you know, leaving the house, interacting with people, even people that you love and you're close with, family, friends, and, you know, and the everyday Joe public. But yeah, I, I will, I'm honest about that. There's no, no reason for me not to be. It's a very challenging thing, but you can make unbelievable progress with it if you stick at it and you follow the tips that I give you and, and the tools and the exercises and, and the mindsets. Now, being as clear with you and honest and direct as I possibly can about how you overcome it, you overcome it through exposing yourself to people by being more social. And I always make a point of saying, I come to realise this through hours and hours of experience and then reflecting on times where I've been very socially confident or I haven't been, I've struggled and you have to build momentum to overcome social anxiety. So an example of that is if you have it bad, you can't just go out like every six months and then meet someone and then get some, you know, social time with them, get a little bit relaxed around them or people and then go back into you know, isolating yourself for another six months, you're not going to see a big improvement. It's going to be like one step forward, 25 steps back. So you've got to socialise regularly. You've got to be consistent with it. Example, 
I would say if someone's really serious, if you're serious about overcoming this, meet a new person every week. However, you can schedule that and plan that. Meeting one new person every week would, would transform your life. You know, you'd be a lot more confident and relaxed around people. It's all about practice, guys, guys and girls, whoever I'm talking to. You know, because when I look at my um, journey with this, the times where I wasn't that social, I suffered with social anxiety the worst. Or at that time, before I even knew what that label was, learnt that, you know, through um, doctors and so psychologists and re reading online. I was just very anxious around people and, and, and very nervous and very in my head. But when I started consistently going out, you know, and challenging myself and doing public speaking and going on first dates and meeting new people and just just being more social. So the way that you get over social anxiety is by being super social and being consistent. It's not enough just to be social if you're not consistent with it. So it really does boil down to the practicalities of taking action. You, you cannot overcome it just by reading. Reading books will not get rid of you know, social phobia or social anxiety or shyness or you know, being uncomfortable around others. It won't do it because a book doesn't have emotions. A book doesn't give you the real experience. It's very different. Reading a book about how to get over any fear or phobia is not, it's, it's a completely different world to actually being there in reality. When you're reading it, you're sort of, you're imagining things and, you know, and you're, you're kind of feeding your intellect, which is good if you want to educate yourself on, on a certain topic. But if you want to get over a, a real fear in real life, then just reading about it isn't going to cut it. It ain't going to, ain't going to quench that first. It, it won't give you confidence. Reading a book alone on how to get over um, any insecurity. And I talk a lot in my videos about, as well, about developing social skills, which for me is like, it's like the advanced stage of getting over social anxiety. Because there's one thing, just getting over the hurdle and the fear of just putting yourself around other people in real life. I'm not talking about on the internet, in, in person. That takes a tremendous amount of courage. But then there's also you learning to verbalize your feelings and engage with people and talk and actually get good at listening. Because what is the biggest fear of most socially anxious people? They are nervous that they're going to run out of things to say or that they're not going to know what to say. So the better your social skills are, the more you know what to say in a situation, the more you can come up with something, the less awkward you can be or you can, you know, I can control my awkwardness through experience and, and practice. So that's why I say pretty much the same thing in all these videos, but I, th I think the videos are getting better. I think they're getting, like I'm explaining it in a lot more clearer way, which will help people more. So as difficult as it is, it gets easier the more you do it. And it's very, very rewarding when you face difficult social situations that you're intimidated by or you're nervous or you're not, even if we use the word you're not confident yet, you can become fearless, you can become confident, you can overcome, yeah, you can overcome that label, that term. You can definitely get comfortable around people if you put the time and the practice in and you build momentum. Momentum is social anxiety is kryptonite, if that makes sense. It doesn't like momentum. It wins by you pushing others away, avoiding social situations, isolating yourself. So, but at the same, but is it easy to do? It's easy to say all this. No, it takes a lot of courage and it takes a lot of emotional effort and energy, which is why you've got to be sensible about it. Obviously, you don't want to burn yourself out and get like exhausted or even sick, get run down, which can happen. It's happened to me at times. So you want to take some breaks when you when you need to. Like, like anything in life, going to the gym, there's always a time to have a rest, recuperate. But people tend to make the mistake of having too long breaks away from people. So a lot of socially anxious people will, they might, you know, get the courage to meet people and they actually enjoy it and they do really well. I've seen it so many times, right, over the years. I worked with so many people when I was teaching full time. And people can be at their best, but then they can get comfortable again. They can feel like, oh, 
I, I, I succeeded today, you know, at an event or on a date or around people. So that means I don't have to continue practicing now. And that's the wrong attitude to have because it can eat, you can get over anxiety, but it can come back again. So it's kind of a life, it's a lifelong journey, uh, a lifelong battle. However, however, so whatever word you're comfortable with, if you're not comfortable with using the term social anxiety, I, I understand, I respect that. You can't deny that there's a fear, that you have a fear of interacting with people, talking to people. So you can do away with the labels through practice, but nothing will change for you if you just read books and you just watch videos alone. You've got to go out at some point. However you get yourself to do it, whether it's through my advice or somebody else's, wherever you seek the knowledge, the advice, you're going to have to push yourself to talk to people and gradually expose and, and get in and build that tolerance and get used to it and it gets easier exactly the same way i'm speaking in front of this camera now it was hard at the start many years ago i couldn't just go and you know press record and talk in front of the camera i would get awkward i'd run out of things to say but i've been doing it for almost 10 years now i've done it for hours and hours so the more you practice the better you get and that's what socializing is like. and you learn from others as well you learn the value that you have, which we're all valuable. The more you interact with others, you see how people appreciate you, appreciate them. Obviously, you're not going to get along with everyone. Um, so, yeah, it's difficult. It is difficult, but you can do it nonetheless. I've done it, so there's no reason anybody else can't. And like I said in my early videos, my one came back again, like everybody, because of lockdown. So I've been overcoming it again and doing really well with it. So join the gym, just take one step at a time, no matter how bad you are, and you can't go wrong if you're moving forward. Even if your progress is very slow, that's fine as long as you're progressing. But yep, this is how you do it. Momentum, meeting up with people regularly, going to groups, basically saying yes to socializing. The more you socialize, the more you're gonna overcome it. The more antisocial you are, whether it's through choice or through fear, the higher your, your anxiety is going to be, the more difficult it's going to be, the more nerve-wracking, the more stuck in your head you are. So practice makes perfect to write. Like, share, subscribe. Thoughts, feelings in the box below. If you've got value from this video, that's great. And I'll see you next one.